Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am drafting again, except this time you don't see my face. Actually, I did another draft recently where I didn't have the face cam either, but yeah. So regardless, today the draft will be that line mates have to be the same age. And I'm gonna go based on the age when I'm drafting them because sometimes it does go up one by the time you get to the season which no i'm not having that that is outrageous i'm trying to remember what video it was specifically it might have been a u23 draft or something along those lines and i drafted players that were 22 but by the time we got to the season they were 23 so yeah i'm just not gonna bother with that today if they are one age difference by the time we get to the season then whatever i'm going based on when i draft them on that note let's find out what team we're gonna be using it is the flow rida panthers no thank you to owner mode yes Yes, please to fantasy draft keep the salary cap on jabroni you already know the rules and cpu trades we will leave that on okay just got to turn off injuries and we are ready to rumble oh we're gonna get pick eight there we go tossed it out randomly i was halfway there this is gonna be tricky i don't know who i should go after here fox is 91 overall he's only making 900k but are we gonna be able to get another 23 year old defenseman that's really good the next would be mcavoy and he'll probably be gone by the time we get there there's also Sergachev. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's go with Adam Fox to start off here. 91 overall, making less than a milli, can't go wrong. And just putting it out there, again, I don't have to draft them in that order. I don't have to take his defensive partner right now. It's just eventually I will have to take a defenseman that is 23 years of age and he will have to play with Adam Fox. This is a bold strategy. Our next two picks are gonna be pretty close together. So I'm gonna take Kairou and then hope that ADB is still there. Cause then we get 287 overall players. No, he's not gonna be there. There's no way. Crap, that didn't work out. Oh wait, 87 still here. He might be. Nope, he's gone. I could take Tage Thompson, 86 overall centerman. He could be our first line center. And I will draft Sergachev now before it's too late. We might have two left-handed defensemen. Is Fox left or right-handed? I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to go with Sergachev regardless. I'm just now realizing that I took the defensive pair and our first forward line is going to be 23. At this point, it should just be the 23-year-old draft. The next player I could find is Pool Party. And that is quite the drop-off. So I'm not going to take anyone yet. Well, what I mean is I'm not going to take anyone to complete that first line yet 32 and 33 seems to be fairly common so you know what i'm gonna take kalorn he could be our second line left winger and then if kachur is still there i will go oh my goodness i forgot about a goalie uh-oh i'm gonna do an absolute hail mary attempt that kachur isn't gone for our next pick and grab a goalie while we still can oh boy i'm still not really sure how much it affects simulation but he does have three abilities so i will be going with robin kachur is in fact still there eight million dollars that hurts a little bit but we've taken quite a few cap-friendly deals. So I think we can afford it. And there's Voracek. He could be that. Yeah, that works out. Our second line is going to be amazing. Maybe I shouldn't have waited. I think pool party's already gone. I shall wait no longer. Dubay will finish off that first line. Or maybe they'll be the second line. Who knows? Nah, they'll be the first line. At 4000000 million, I'm going to take Adam Larson. And the next pick is already scouted out. Go to defenseman again. 28 years of age. And we are going to be... Where is he? Don't tell me he's gone all right apparently he's gone so we're going with colin miller i can't believe i just did that i cannot believe i just did that what is with me not knowing how many defensemen i have of a certain handedness i wanted clef bomb because he's left well instead i'm gonna take alexiak and then our bottom four for defensemen are all just gonna be 28 looks like we have a few players here that are 30 felino at 83 overall 3.1 Yup. Hammerhead's legend, Kyle Palmieri. And who better than Eric Howla to finish off the third line? All right, Dean, you are... Wait, why is he listed as a right defenseman even though he shoots left? I don't like that. Not a fan. Whatever. That is going to be our selection regardless. Let's go with Moose to be our backup goalie. All we need is a fourth line. And just because we have so much cap left, I'm going to take Jonathan Taves. Stanley Cup winning magnet. Patrick Maroon, welcome to the team. And with 600k to spare, we will take Kyle Ocpozo to be the final player of our draft. So let's just have a quick look here. We have Tage Thompson, who's 23, and he will be, I guess we took another, yeah. So he'll be playing with Dubay and Kairou. Couture, who is 32, he'll be playing with Kalorn and Voracek. Taves is 33, and he will be playing with, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, confuse me for a second. Patrick Maroon, and on top of that, Kyle Lock Pozo and then 30 year old Eric Howla will be playing 
with Felino and Kyle Palmieri. Defensively, we got Fox and Sergachev, and then I guess really all of these lads right here could be interchanged. We don't have the best goalies in the world overall wise, but we'll make it work. An overall look at our draft. Let's go put this team together and see how we look on paper. We also need to see how line chemistry plays into this squad. Hopefully it's at least zeros. I just don't want negatives. I got excited for a second because this last line is a plus two, but what is that? No. How dare you scratch Hammerhead's legend Kyle Palmieri. And amazingly, it looks like nobody's age has changed. So we have 23, 23, 23, and they get a zero. Our second line gets a plus two, and that is the 32 line. Felino playing with Haula and Palmieri, and then Okpozo, Taves, and Maroon. Defensively, we got Sergachev and Fox that get a zero, but then Larson and Alexiak get a plus one, and so do Miller and Dean. Robin Leonard's in the cage with Elliot backing him up. Let's do it. I think that we are going to make the playoffs. I say that we get 48 wins. Going to be a good year. So naturally it won't be. We're going to do horrendously. And I'm going to say honestly that Voracek gets the most points with 70. We got absolutely smoked in our first game, but we've sort of brought it back around here. Never mind. We suck again. Our team has depth. The only thing we're really missing is sort of, I guess you could say an offensive superstar. We do have some great players offensively, but we don't have that one complete stud that we can really lean on. Approaching the trade deadline here, looks like we'll have 30 wins, possibly 31. Sorry, Matthew. Hate to see it. Carolina Candia. And yeah, we have 30 wins going into the trade deadline. Let's just keep our block, enter the deadline to see who's available, even though we will not be capitalizing on any of these players. And I'm not very upset about that anyway, because it does not look like a super strong trade deadline. Oh, that's a pretty big trade right there. Look at that. Spurgeon, Thornton, and Felino all headed to Montreal. That is a blockbuster to say the least. So my prediction's definitely wrong and we can't buy a win after the trade deadline naturally. That's how things just work, it seems. And we didn't qualify. We had 39 wins on the year. I was only, what, 10 off? Not bad. We were so close though. 89 points and the Bruins had 90. That is outrageous. And we had, oh man, we would have beat them in the tiebreaker. We just needed one more point. We don't deserve to be in anyway though. And again, Tampa Bay, Proving that even in a fantasy draft, they are good. They got Olafson, Stamkos, and Nylander, Tuck, Strom, Athanasiu, Barabanov, Coleman, Kessel. Yeah, they do have a good team. Jack Campbell in net. Gerard and Doughty as their top defensive pair. It was the top 16 teams that made it. We were 17, and yeah, I can't believe how close we got, but nope. Once again, for fun, let's just see what the last place Detroit Red Wings consist of. They got Beauvillier, Eichel, and Ehlers, Garland, Hughes, and Formanton. Neighbors, Velarde, Mal. Again, they got Kata Hat in net. I don't know. They don't look that bad to me. Hamilton and Brodeen. I was right about the player. Not the points, though. Not even close. Fox put up 55. Kairou put up 54. Felino 53. I feel like I've taken Fox first overall one other time before, and it also did not work out that time. So we might have to cut ties here and say see you later. Leonard did all right. 33, 26, and 11. Two shutouts. A 907. Also a 907 from Elliott, but a 282. And he only went 6, 6, and 0 with no shutouts. Campbell led the league with 40 wins. Hellebuck right there with 40 as well, except Campbell did it in three less games. He had seven shutouts. Nine for Gibson down there. That is quite the number. A 920 for Pavel. Johnny Boyd led defenseman. He had 76. EK65 had 73. Ekblad 68. Barry 66. Hedman 63. The only player to break 100 this year is Over Chicken. He gets 106. Looks like he won the Rocket Richard as well, unless I'm overseeing it here. But no, it looks like he's got it locked up. Dreisaitl had 97 points. Matthews had 94. Steven with 93. Sebastian and Will not the hockey guy get 92 apiece. Let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup. It won't be us, I'll tell you that for free. Calgary takes it home. All right, let's go see what their roster looks like. They finished 15th. So they were not even up there, really. Right around the middle of the NHL. And let's have a look at their team. They have Evander Kane, Duchesne, and Toffoli. Nyquist, Bennett, and Arvidsson. Shesterkin in net, that explains a lot. They got Pionk, and then they got Taves paired with him. Tanev and Barry, okay, yeah, they do have a 
pretty solid team, I suppose. Just for fun, I wanted to see who had the best shooting percentage. It was Keegan. 19.8. No one broke the 20. Tommy Boy, Tim Winston had the most pims, 91. Bennett was right there. He had 86, then 83 from Anderson and Marchie. It is award time. Calgary Flames with the Stanley Cup. Presidents, Tampa Bay. We already knew that. Boston made it to the finals individually. Ovi with the Art Ross and the Hearts. Carlson gets the Norris. Those are my boys right there. The Caps, fire me up. Matthews gets the Lady Bing. Lundell gets the Calder. Taves with the Con Smythe. Pavel gets the Vesna. Shesterkin with the Jennings. The Masterton goes to Edmondson. Piero Zabatel gets the Jack Adams. Crosby with the Selkie. Ovi with the Lindsay. And of course, Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Here's the playoff tree. That one did not quite go to plan, but it do be like that sometimes, you know? You can't win them all. Or in my case, you can't win many. Can't even really win a few of them. But that's all right. I had fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you have other draft stipulations, let me know. We are really coming close to NHL 23 now, so I can't wait. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I can't end the video on that note it's got to be the classic i will see you soon